Welcome everyone. So many new faces because our first time at New York. So I don't know if I've seen all of you before. Probably not. Hi, okay. how are you? Hi, I'm good. Whoa. Oh, I'll ask the first question. Okay. Uh, how is the reaction to season five added on to the story for season six? Um, how is the reaction? You mean the fan reaction? How yeah. have we changed? I mean, to be honest with you, I, it's really hard to block out that. And, and I don't think if showrunners say that they don't pay attention, that's not true. Um, but that's what I do try to do. I try pretty hard to sort of tell the story that I want to tell. And, um, you know, just based in terms of the fan reaction, if I do something that upsets one group of fans, it's going to make the other group happy. If I do one, you know, it's like there's no real winning um, if you try to do that. So. I am following sort of a, a vision that I have for the show and the world and what the characters should do and and a lot of people with me that I trust um, and that's how it works so thank you yeah how can we expect uh, the new planet to look different since obviously your filming location is yeah, still Vancouver it's a good question biz effects <laughs> um, it's hard you know they look they looked for a planet that was similar to earth and we of course uh, are shooting it in Vancouver still, so it will look like Vancouver, but it's got two suns in the sky. It's got, I was about to sp spoil something that I can't spoil, uh, but there will there are visual aspects of the world that are, that are new. The light is very different based on the fact that there are two suns. So um, everything looks different and beautiful. And at night, there's a, there's a feature of the night sky that, that affects the way it looks as well. So, you know, my hope is that People go for the, you know, suspend disbelief and go for the ride and believe that they're in a new world. I mean, that's honestly, I've said it a hundred times to the crew and the actors and everybody. It, that is the challenge number one this season, which is how do we turn Vancouver into another world that looks a lot like Vancouver. So, well, so what have you done <laughs> to change Vancouver in another world? Well, I just told you. Oh, I'm okay. Gonna <laughs> I'm not going to tell you any more about it. Some that. details. So. Okay. Just joking. Uh, Elisa uh, tell us that she spent almost her, her 20s doing the, the know. TV show, right? Uh, I'm, I'm just curious about since you, you the hundred is for a younger audience, the yeah. TV show. Do you, do, do you have the, the, the feeling that your audience is growing up with your TV show or is changed, I don't know. You know, it's funny, the CW has a has obviously the reputation of being a younger skewing network and that may be true, but our demographic is, like our median aged viewer is like 49, believe it or not. So uh, it is not a show for kids. And yes, we are, we have seen, obviously the content I think would say that as well. I mean, we push the edge pretty hard in terms of what we do on the show, violence in every other way. And um, so yes, the answer of course is also yes. We have, I have noticed that people have grown up with the show too. Myself included, I mean, I was old when we started and I'm still old, but I feel a lot older. So. <laughs> what, uh, what is the new dynamic between Bell and Clark will be in this next season now with the kid? And yeah, they're trying really hard to turn the page on everything that they've done and to live uh, better, do better. Monty told them at the end on his dying video, you know, try to be the good guys. And Bellamy and Clark take that to heart in a big way going into uh, season six, for sure. What that means exactly, you know, obviously they're coming into a similar situation that they came in in the pilot where they're landing on a new world, then it was Earth, now it's a planet who has a name that I can't tell you yet. Um, and it will be, you know, up to them to not destroy everything they come in contact with just to survive. You know, the theme of the show up until now has been, what will you do to survive? How far will you go? At what point does the good guy become the bad guy? Because he's done so much uh, to survive. And I think that leaves scars on all of them. And they're going to try and, and not make what some people might say are the same mistakes. You said that the studio has been very helpful okay, with your ideas, with your vision, but is there any <coughs> scene or something that uh, you really wanted to, to, to put in the series or in this season that has to be... Honestly, no. This will be the last question. Honestly, no. The network and the studio has been totally supportive. If anything, you know, when we first started, 
and we it was an early you know you're trying to get a show picked up and it was on the CW and the CW hadn't really had a show like ours on it before that that is as I think dark as our show can be and Mark Pedowitz the president of the network and I've told the story before pushed me to go darker go darker you can do more he gave me so much rope to hang myself with basically uh, and we have a couple times hung ourselves with that rope but you know I remember episode five season one when we did the culling and killed all those people that didn't need to die I got a call from Mark and he said it was a great episode but you can be darker and I was like how <laughs> really <laughs> how much darker can you get than that and you know we've tried so the answer is there is nothing that I've actually wanted to do that they would they're pushed back a couple times on things and if I want to die on the hill then they'll let me die on the hill it's been a great relationship I really am grateful for that Thank you guys. Thank Thanks you. guys. Thanks so much.